Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. This is a Tuesday, Wednesday vlog, primarily Wednesday, but I wanted to just say hello this morning. It's 10, so I've already been up for over five hours because I'm filming a 5 a.m. morning video for this week. And the boys just woke up. Mix. And so we're doing our normal morning routine where Max zoomies around and potties and then Brooke waters the grass. But I wanted to say hello, how are ya? Good morning, I love ya. And Brooke says it too, but he's still waking up. <laughs> so I have meetings that start at one and then that's basically the whole rest of my day. So before my meetings start, I wanna make Brooke and I lunch and guess who's sponsoring this video? One of my favorite every plate. I've talked about them so many times, but just got my box in the mail last night. Honestly, they're one of my favorites because they're just the most affordable by far. I think that the average meal kit averages about $10 a meal. Every plate averages $4.99 a meal, so literally half price. And I have a promo code too. This will get you meals for even cheaper for a little bit. So I will have a link down below and the code is Mikel2. This will get you a box of every plate meals that come to just $1.99 a meal, which is crazy good. <laughs> and then we'll also get you 20% off your next two additional boxes. So it's like the code that keeps on giving. <laughs> I got a couple things that I thought would make good lunches because we have a few dinner plans this week so I knew we'd be eating out for dinner um, and one that I'm really excited about is the gooey stuffed pork burgers this only takes 10 minutes of prep and is ready in 35 minutes and I know I get questions about dietary restrictions a lot I don't know if you can see the ingredients actually list common allergens within them. So I ordered this one knowing that the only ingredient I can't have is the buns. And I actually have my own gluten-free buns in the fridge right now, but I'm thinking I'm gonna have mine as a salad over arugula because it sounds so, it's literally like cheese stuffed pork patties with caramelized onions and barbecue sauce. Like that would be such a good salad. And then some uh, potatoes on the side. Brooke's very excited about it too. So let's cook some lunch. Thanks again to Every Plate for sponsoring this video. I've been ordering them more and more frequently because I've honestly just felt not inspired to recipe hunt for myself because that takes a lot of effort. So it's really nice to just be like, here's some recipes for you. Go ahead and make them. So it's been helpful and I am hungry because I've been up since 5 a.m. So let's get cooking. I should probably have a knife. Can you hand me a knife? <laughs> Turn a very delicious bur <coughs> burger into a salad. <laughs> I'm excited to see what the cheese looks like inside of this. Here, I'll, I'll angle you down so we can see together. Let's see if it worked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you see that? I think that's my new favorite. Delicious. I'm excited to see what you think. Pro tip, we ordered the four person ones so that we have extra. And so I made an extra patty for Brooke for dinner tonight um, because I will be in meetings all the way till tonight. So we won't have time to figure out dinner for us. <laughs> Speaking of that, my meeting, my first meeting of the day starts in about 20 minutes. So I am going to spare you the boredom of that and I will see you tomorrow when things get way more interesting when I have way more free time. Yeah. Good morning, it is Wednesday. I just really did not want to use heat on my hair today so I tried something new and did little like French braid space buns. <laughs> I've actually already been filming all morning for my 5 a.m. morning routine video. 
So I feel like I've been vlogging, but I haven't started this vlog yet today. I have a lot I wanna get done before my parents get here this weekend, a lot of errands and just kind of like getting my life back together. So today is gonna be a very productive day and I am excited to take you along with me. We'll go through my to-do list here in a second, but I'm gonna get dressed and we'll get this day started. Outfit of the day. This is a cute little new linen top that I got from Abel, which is one of my new favorite shops that I have found. I love them so much. And then I'm wearing my high-waisted shorts that I got from my friend Kim's vintage shop, Friends of Los Angeles. Um, these go pretty long, but since this shirt is like more modest, I cuffed them up a couple times. Probably wear some like sneakers or sandals or something comfy since we'll be running errands today. And um, kind of like this vibe. I kind of like it. Like, I feel like this is going to be my vibe as a mom one day, you know? Just kind of playing around with my mom vibes now. Get them locked and loaded for in six years when I'm actually a mom. <laughs> okay, team, here's my working to-do list. I know I had a productive vlog. Oh, gosh, maybe it was like a couple months ago at this point and y'all were like, love seeing the to-do list. Made me feel so productive even though I was just sitting on my couch watching a YouTube video. So here's the to-do list car wash family is going to be coming into town really wants to see the new car gotta make sure it looks great laundry gosh i have so much laundry i'm probably gonna do that later tonight target i just went to target and as soon as you leave target you think of 12 things you need from target including i'm actually filming this on my dad's 60th birthday so when he's here i'm going to print out a picture of what i got him which is a floating ping pong table for their pool <laughs> clearly can't send him home on an airplane with that. So I'm shipping that to his house and wrapping a picture of it. So stuff to wrap that and then boring household stuff. And then my last two things on my to-do list, I am hosting my friend's baby shower in our backyard at the end of the month. And I'm just like trying to slowly get things looking nice. So um, I spent yesterday scrubbing the railing in the back. I want to do the same to the front and I want to go to the nursery and get some more outdoor plants because all of ours look very, very, very sad. So it'd be nice for my parents to also be able to see our backyard looking nice. That's my working to-do list. Brooke is currently driving, but I also texted him saying anything else we need to do because I just want to have the most productive day ever and get all of the errands and like life stuff out of the way today so that I feel really good going into the weekend and taking this weekend off of work. I should probably do car wash after plants because I'll get dirt in the car. Okay, we'll figure out the order. <laughs> I say let's go to the nursery first because then by the time I'm back from that, I can ask Brooke if he wants anything from Target and then I can wash my car because it won't get dirty. But I wanted to show you something really gross. Who doesn't love something really gross? Um, to start my productive morning, I put on this little attachment on the vacuum and I vacuum the couch. Mind you, remember in a vlog a while ago, we got blankets to cover the couch. The couch has been covered for like a while and still I managed to vacuum this much dust. Can you even see it all? Whoa. That came out of the couch, out of the couch. So I guess, you know, take this as your sign to, to vacuum your couch. Cause our couch is new. <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, we are going to Boulevard Nursery, which is just BLVD in Pasadena, my favorite nursery. I've actually met multiple subscribers at this nursery, so I guess that's y'all's favorite nursery too. Before we drive, time for a car thought. It's been a while since we've had a car thought, and I just want to know. I don't know if this is a rescue dog thing or if this is all dogs, but do your dogs ever randomly develop new weird bad habits? Like Max has gone through so many of these Well, he will start a new bad habit and it will last like a month and then he'll stop it, but he'll start a new one. And right now, whenever we leave the house, he just screams. He just screams. It's not even a bark. It's like a, ah! <laughs> and he started this a, a couple to a few weeks ago. And I'm like, this is so weird. Is this normal? Does anybody else have a dog that like starts weird things and then just switches to different weird things? Or is that just Max? Cause he's a weird dog. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go buy some plants. That always makes for a very happy day. <laughs> Anybody want to buy me a uh, $400 olive tree? Look, there's actually olives growing on it. That is crazy. This is a big boy. And here's all the fruit trees. There's orange, lemon, lime, kumquat, 
like big lemon trees back there. That's what I really want. But these are so expensive that, gosh, that has to be like an anniversary present or something, <laughs> you know, like a big occasion type of plant. I found little lemon trees for only $40 as opposed to like 400. I think I should get a little one. I don't know if it will ever grow fruit. I don't know how long that takes. Look who's home from Gaul. How is, is it? Made out of beeswax? Oh, so I found out that it's actually a vegan alternative. Oh. Yeah, it's called bees wrap because they use non beeswax to make what's traditionally made with beeswax. But oh. nevertheless, uh, you found the frutas, man? Mm hmm And you got tahin and chamoy? Mm hmm And you gonna share? There's a lot of fruit. <laughs> How was waking up at 5 a.m. with me this morning? It wasn't good. No? <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. Oh man, that mango was good. That was a good mango? Mm. I'm gonna try it. There's four right there. Oh, I didn't see. Yo. That's a good mango. Good call on the fruit. So this big handsome guy is gonna replace this dying little guy. I need to pot it into this pot. Um, so that's gonna be a good first impression for the front porch. A little bit of life, a little bit of happiness. Is she looking cute? I need to now sweep all the dirt off my front porch, but details, details. And then do you wanna see which lemon tree I ended up getting? This one's taller than me. And it was literally one sixth of the price. I, like I said, don't know if it's gonna grow any fruit. Is that some weird bugs on it? I forgot to get a pot for this one because I thought I had a basket out here. So I think it's gonna replace this fiddle. This fiddle's been hanging on since I lived in the studio. It's not doing so hot. Um, and I thought this was in a basket, but it's not. It's actually in a pot I don't love. So when we're at Target, I'm gonna also see if they have a basket or something that I can put around that pot as like a very cheap way to make it look nice. So that being said, let's go continue to be productive. Car wash Target, maybe a coffee. <laughs> this is the first time that there's been like almost no line. At the car wash, normally it literally circles around the block. So it's my day, I guess. <laughs> love it. <laughs> So I guess it's not completely my day because all the vacuums were taken, but I've been using my Dyson to actually vacuum my car, so that's fine. And I have these, so I can clean my own car when I'm home. And then to keep things interesting, I am at a whole new Target that I've been to like twice ever. Um, it was actually kind of closer to the car wash. So it's kind of fun to be in a whole new Target environment instead of the same old, same old, you know? This is when you take errands and you spice them up and you make them fun. And I also thought of a couple fun things that I kinda wanna look for while we're here, cause that's what you do when you go to Target, right? <laughs> Let's do it. So I really like this card for dad. Um, it even almost looks like a Texas star on the beers. And it's just very simple, but it's the very last one and it's bent. Do you think he'll notice? It's, there's nothing as good. So I, I guess I'll just get it and try to bend it back. I know this is so lame, but I've wanted one of these forever and I got the little brushes, but I am missing this little soap dispenser, but you leave it on the counter and you put your dish soap in this and you push down and it releases soap to, to wash your dishes and it's so much cuter than like a little scrubber sponge or whatever. Okay, I'm debating between these two baskets for the lemon tree. I like the look of this better, but I feel like the size of this will be better. Hmm, this one's slightly more expensive, which is probably why I like it more. <laughs> I'm eager to see the lemon tree in our basket, see if it works, and then put blankets in the other basket. Oh, yeah. That is the perfect size for our lemon tree, but now I want your comment if you think it should replace the very sad fiddle, or if you think it should go in this little seating area for a little bit of life. Also, load one of laundry is done, which is blankets and towels. Load two, which is darks, is in the dryer. And load three, which is lights, is in the washer. So checking that off the list, which feels real good. So I'm thinking it would be really handy to have a little blanket basket in here. Um, I don't know if I should just throw them in or maybe roll them. Oh, I also washed rags. <laughs> Also, Brooke and I decided we're gonna go to a movie tonight. We have not done that since pre-COVID and I'm looking very forward to it. I had a little bit of a rough last hour, just getting <laughs> comments, man. Comments get to me too much. I know we talk about that all the time. So I think he 
could tell a movie would be a good way to cheer me up. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Enroll all of them? Okay, hold please. Ta-da, there it is. I have a few more blankets that I definitely need to add to it. Um, it will be very convenient. My only question is, well, it's definitely too cluttered over here now with the molecule. Should I move the molecule somewhere else? But I also use that as a side table. There's a coaster on top of it when I'm here. That's where I put my drink because this side has a side table. I mean, I could move the basket here, but that just feels more out in the open. But um, speaking of blankets to add, I did just coincidentally, I did not plan this, but get a blanket from Urban Outfitters. I'll link it down below. It was one of their top rated items. It's called the Stargazer Throw. And I'm such a blanket person. I wanted to feel it in real life. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it kind of feels like Barefoot Dreams. I wonder if that's why it's top rated. I wonder if it's like known that this is kind of a dupe. Oh, I will be linking that down below. I actually got two top rated things. We got new towels. We have had our towels for almost three years now and they're really cute, but I think that there's some stains in them that are just permanent now. So this was another top rated thing. This is the Ever Plush 10 piece towel set. The comfort and luxury of cotton with the performance of microfiber. Just mostly curious to see what it felt like. So we'll test it together. Oh, wow, wait a minute. Oh, Brooke's gonna love this. Oh, this is really nice. This is perfect timing for my parents coming in town too. We can all have fresh, clean towels. Oh, I'm excited about this. Soft things. I will link them down below, guys. Wow. Oh yeah, a trio looks so good. What do you think, Max? Do you think a trio looks so good? Yeah, a lot of gray in here, I know, but if you miss it, these are gray because they're meant to cover the couch and not be noticeable when we don't have people over. I have not in gray blankets that I can put in here too. <laughs> so I am speed folding some laundry because we just checked movie times and we're gonna go see A Quiet Place, but we have to leave in like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna cut my to-do list short. The only thing I didn't do was um, clean the front porch, but I did do things that were not initially on my list. I actually filmed the video. I don't know if it's gonna go live or not. If it does, it should already be out. But it's basically me just like borderline crying at, at the camera, just trying to put some of my thoughts and feelings into words. So might not post it, <laughs> but that's something that I didn't intend to do that I did do. And then like listen to the podcast and did a few things around the house. So listen to our podcast, I should clarify, before I schedule it. So feeling like I did so much today and feeling very proud of myself and looking so forward to the movie tonight. Can't decide if I wanna go cute or if I wanna put on like leggings and be comfy. That's always the struggle when you go to movies is do I wanna like have a date night and feel, feel extra cute? Or do I just wanna be comfy? <laughs> And I'm home from the movie. <laughs> hello, hello. This has been a recurring thing in vlogs. <laughs> it was very good, very fun to be back in the movie theater. I think I mentioned we saw A Quiet Place too. But I feel like, <laughs> I feel like the ending wasn't the end. I don't know if they're just like really trying to make sure that there can be a part three. I don't know. I don't know, but um, I meant to get like a clip of us at the movie theater, but I was just enjoying my time too much. So we got popcorn. It was great. But I wanted to make sure to say goodbye to you. And to end the vlog here, I wanted to say thanks again to Every Plate for sponsoring this video. I will have all the information in the description box down below. <laughs> Do you see this guy? Look at this. He's just like such a little cuddle bug. Max, you wanna say bye to everybody? Where's your face? There's your face. Say bye to everybody. We love you. We hope you have the best rest of your day and we'll see you in a video very soon. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> so give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do